Hi there, I'm Timothy Linsdale, video producer and a Christian. Today I want to put my science cap on and, and uh, take a look at a couple of articles. Did humans come from animals or did, have humans always been humans? Uh, like and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel, that would be terrific. A unique human neuron's been discovered. Now, what's that about? With a new addition to the category of uniquely human features, MIT neuroscientists discovered a feature of human, not animal, brain cells. <clears throat> now, certain human brain cells have much longer extensions called dendrites. And this research team from MIT found a uniquely human reason for it. Now the cerebrum lies just beneath the skull and it has its folds and bends like what a <clears throat> normal brain would look like. And the largest part of the brain manages all kinds of information and lots of it. Even more than the entire internet. It interprets sight, sound, temperature, taste, and, and touch inputs. It initiates muscle movements. It stores and retrieves memories. It helps perform reasoning and stores intelligence and personality. Clearly, it does more than animal brains. <clears throat> but how can it do this? Just, a, just last month, a separate team reported the discovery of a whole new class of neuron unique to humans. They called them rosehip cells because of their shapes. Now, a rosehip shell, or excuse me, a rosehip uh, is, is like a berry. <clears throat> and it's, it's red, has kind of a flare on the end of it, where the blossom would have been. Uh, it's very seedy, and yet it is used for... Uh, it's potent with vitamin C, <clears throat> but it's not really something you can pick and eat, as uh, most of the uh, uh, goodness of it will, the fruit of it, if you will, is, is on the skin. <clears throat> now, we, the scientists went on to say, we don't yet know what they do. What do these cells do, rosehip cells? Uh, but since they make up 10% of our neurons, Future research will surely reveal their important function. Well, I would think so. The outermost layer of the folding cerebrum is called the cortex. And it comes loaded with neurons. But humans have a much thicker cortex than animals. Human neurons near the outer edge of the co cortex use extra long dendrites to gather data from the inner edge. Now the MIT a team has tested the electrical properties of these fascinating cells. And they published their results in an October 18th issue of the journal Cell. Now the team found that although the human dendrites are much longer than those of rats, as I suppose rats are the model they're using as the, for the animal part, but you know what? I'm happy I got something better than a rat. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, both, the reason they compared this is both have the same number of ion channels. Now, these channels regulate current flow. This difference, fewer channels per unit length in humans, suggests that individual neurons can perform more complex computations on the information, according to the MIT news. In other words, areas within these cells, instead of whole cells like animals, act like tiny transistors. Now, one of the researchers told uh, MIT News, if you have a cortical column that has a chunk of human or rodent cortex, you're going to be able to accomplish more computations faster with the human architecture versus a rodent architecture. I well, hope that made some sense. 
uh, it looks like the human brain is uniquely equipped to perform all the functions required by the human mind and heart. They work hand and glove as though they were created for one another. But I mentioned earlier in this article about the, uh, the size of the uh, largest part of the brain manages all kinds of information uh, and it is actually larger than the internet. Now that's, that's, that's pretty wild. But I, I found another uh, article on that subject and it says your brain has more memory than the internet. It says whoever said the human brain is the most highly organized collection of matter in the universe was more correct than they really knew. New research modeled tiny structures within nerve cells and discovered a clever tactic brains use to inverse increase increase computing power while maximizing energy efficiency. Its design could form the basis of a whole new improved class of computer. Isn't that amazing? Neurobiologists from the Salk Institute in La Jolla, California, which is only about a half hour from me, they, uh, working with the University of Texas at Austin, collaborated to build a 3D computer model that mimicked the sections of the rat hippocampus, a brain region in mammals where neurons constantly process and store memories. One of the models published in the biological journal eLife helped reveal that the sizes of synapses within, within, change within minutes. Well, that's kind of amazing. These synapses occur at junctions between nerve cells, like two people holding hands. Each cell can have a thousand hands contacting as many neighbors to form a dizzying 3D array with billions of connections and pathways. Each junction transfers information between cells by passing along tiny uh, called um, neurotransmitters. <clears throat> now, groundbreaking image published in 2011 revealed many more of these nerve-to-nerve -nerve connections. And it, it's much bigger than they realized. Said uh, some separate research done, uh, published in Nature Communications, found that biochemical communication inside each synapse constantly monitors and adjusts synaptic plasticity. This plasticity enabling mechanism includes positive feedback loops and safety mechanism to prevent cell death. Separate research published in Nature Communications found that the biochemical communication inside each synapse constantly monitors and adjusts synaptic plasticity. Now this plasticity enabling mechanism includes positive feedback loops and a safety mechanism to prevent cell death. This is according to research summary article published in Nature by Christine Gee and Thomas Order of the Center of Molecular Neurobiology in Hamburg. Uh, the co-author of the eLife study told the Salk Institute, we discovered the key to unlocking this design principle of how hippocampal neurons function with low energy but high computational power. Our new measurements of the brain's memory capacity increased conservation, uh, sorry, conservative estimates by a factor of 10 to at least a petabyte in the same ballpark as the World Wide Web. All right, what's a petabyte? You probably have an idea what a gigabyte is or a terabyte. And I have drives that have four terabytes on them. But a petabyte is a number followed by 15 zeros. Give you an idea. The mind-boggling levels of organization and necessary regulatory protocols in synapses refute all notions about how our brains came to be. In other words, did we come from animals or have we always been humans? And what does that mean for us? 
Thank you. Appreciate this time. Lock and com like and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel. That would be terrific. Thanks for listening. Get out there and make it a great day.